all right guys so you already know i was on the gram and i got inspired all right so you know i know y'all just maybe you just finished watching my my teddy video of the nails that i currently have on but um yeah it hurts me to do this y'all see how i'm pulling these bears off vicious and for a reason it was a lot it was a lot they were scratching me not bad like i have like scratch marks like i got into it but they were just hard to deal with i've never done 3d um nail art before and i probably would do it again but i would probably limit it to one nail because i was just having a hard time avoiding the nails like getting in my hair and stuff and i didn't apply the enough glue it was my first time using a specific type of glue and two of my teddies popped off so you know that was devastating but i'm just gonna take off the polish and the teddy bears and everything and i'm going to redo the set i'm going to keep the base of the nail on i'm actually going to reshape the nail off camera all right yeah i'm gonna reshape them off camera um that's because the set i kind of liked how it was shaped in the original video right now i'm doing more of a coffin shape i wanted to make sure i had enough space to recreate the look so i did widen out the nail and make them more of a tampered um square so in order to do that if you guys watched the video of me doing these nails you saw that i used a nail form basically i just realigned the nail form up with my um current nail and i just added some acrylic to the sides of the nail and i also do go in and have to add in some more um product near my cuticle area because in the process of filing off this pink I do end up lowering my apex and my cuticle area is all botched so I had to fix that up too. Okay alright so now that all of that's done, the, the foundation of my nail is ready, I'm about to start polishing. I'm going to show you guys how I got the colors because I don't own all of the colors in the picture, but I was gonna try to get as close as possible to the original, all right? So I'm using Luxa Polish Everything for this video. Um, I'm using, I think, Think the color of the pink is obsession yeah so the pink is obsession the brown color is called tart and then i'm using the white i think it's called white out or something i don't really know what they call the white polish but it's it's all white polish so i'm just gonna mix these colors until they come to my liking and until they get as close to the original colors as possible and then i'm going to um you know just try to recreate the look to the best of my ability y'all i'm not even gonna front making these colors was a little complicated because um i don't know like sometimes you don't know what you're gonna get when you're mixing colors so i actually was able to get the colors pretty perfect so stay tuned and see how that happens but it was a lot of adding little dots of polish and mixing and i sped it up for you guys but the process took about i don't know i would say about 15 minutes so I made the pink, the base pink, and it came out really cute, really soft, really like, it's giving me spring vibes, and I really love it. So I'm going to mix in a gel pod color, orange, some brown, and um, yeah, lots of brown. So that is going to help me get one of the brownish, the earth tone colors that was used in the original so um i'm just gonna keep mixing and mixing until it gets there all right we're getting there okay okay so the color is supposed to to me i wanted it to get as close to like a chocolate milk color brown kind of like you know my skin tone <laughs> so i'm doing that and i'm mixing these colors together and this color is supposed to come out close to like a peanut butter color so i'm getting as close to that as humanly possible okay 
it was actually fun i will say it's a little frustrating but it was fun because i was like i'm, I'm gonna get these colors like i was determined and i did it so you know kudos to me and um yeah the fun part is thinking like oh what can i mix what can i what can i do to get these colors and you know it turned out pretty good y'all see the little picture in the corner that's what i'd be doing my ipad be sitting there and i'd just be looking back and forth at it that poor screen so i was going to use the original pink from my my main coat but i was just like nah i'm mixing some colors it came out weird so right now i'm trying to make the really soft off white color that's in the original design so right now i'm just mixing you know the um tart with the white to make it like this creamy brown so you know those are the colors that i'm gonna do you know gonna do <laughs> what those are the colors i'm gonna do that's what came out these are perfect to me so i'm now going to reenact the little um i don't really know what you would say call it to me it looked like um you know in geography when they like showing certain types of maps and it kind of looks like i don't know what type of map it's called but it looked like a geography map to me other people were probably going to say some something that's going to aggravate me they're going to be like oh my god it looks like a cow print and it's not to me it's not a cow print all right if somebody can actually reference to exactly what i'm talking about i'm going to be so happy because i'm going to be like great minds think alike Okay, so back to the video, enough being a weirdo. So I am just outlining, like, I am mimicking the picture, but at the same time, I'm not. So I'm trying to get close to the picture, but I also want it to look a little unique. So, I mean, and I also can't do it perfectly because my nails are hella long compared to the picture. So I'm just, I'm just doing what I can with what I got so in the beginning i am using these two colors but then i realized i should start off with the darker colors first so that i don't have to clean my brush as much and some of the the um the no i should start off with the lighter colors i'm sorry so i don't have to clean my brush as much and some of the darker colors overlap the lighter colors so it only made sense to do two the two lighter colors first cure my nail for um uh what what how long did i do that uh 120 seconds and my uv lamp and then to come back and do the two darker colors so that i can overlap the colors on my nail you know you see you see what i'm saying strategic you gotta you gotta think all right or your designs will come out looking confused because your ass was confused so i'm just working with it okay guys so this color is going to overlap with the other one and it is really cute i really like the fact that they're overlapping because i don't know me doing nails and i look at somebody's nails and i see details like this i'm like damn that person spends a lot of time on you like like for real but i also i just really love nail art i think it's really cool really fun and unique like because it's not it's not a stencil it's not it it can't be replicated it can't it can't every time it's just unique it's never the same so you know i'm just somewhat following the outline of the picture and this was really fun i really liked doing this i think i was just honestly y'all i start my nails at a reasonable time sometimes and then sometimes i start my nails at 11 o'clock at night and i just stay up all night just really doing my nails and i don't know i think it's just really fun to me i'm a really artistic person it just it's like i have my airpods in i'm vibing like i'm just chilling so um yeah it's like therapeutic i guess it's like a coloring book except more intense so um yeah i'm just gonna keep doing all of that and then i'm gonna come back to you guys once i've done like finished with all of the um the little squiggly 
I don't know, weird shapes. Okay, so I should have known better than to try to do this. I was trying to make the outside look a little more like a watercolor type thing. Like not that, I just slapped some, used the brush. I wanted it to look like it wasn't what it was. So I came back with this brush and I was like trying to feather around the original outline. Big mistake. Shouldn't have did that. And my... Well, why I know better now is because once I put the matte top coat on, it kind of naturally blurs those lines for you. So me thinking I was like creating this really cool effect that kind of looked like the picture and in reality, I was just doing extra work and on my left hand, it made my pinky look kind of weird, me trying to do this. It's not a big deal. The design still came out fire, but I kind of wish I didn't do this step. But, you know, you let me learn. It was an experiment. All right, so you know, we at the end of the road, boys to men. I hope it's by boys to men, or I'm gonna sound stupid, but I don't know. We're done, all right, basically. So I am going around the the border of this um this design. So for the picture, it wasn't supposed to look perfect. Now, baby girl's a Virgo, okay? So perfection is my motive if it's not perfect then why bother so you know i had to i had to shake that off a bit in order to complete this set because if not i would drive myself crazy so i am um just you know kind of doing this really outline and this is where i get that geographic like vibe i don't know if it's like called topographic topo topography i don't know what the hell it's called but i learned about it in college for a little bit my teacher says something about it and oddly enough years later i still remember so um yeah 
I'm just gonna do that and I really like this touch to it like I feel like that's what makes it not look like your average cow print design it looks really cool with this added on and it makes it look really dope once I do that matte on top oh my god it just looks gorgeous so um, I'm just gonna go around and do that to all the nails but I'm gonna let you guys know it wasn't just peaches and cream okay my innocent mind was thinking i'm gonna do this i'm gonna put the mat on and i'm gonna go to sleep because i'm tired and i stayed up all night doing these nails that i love so much but damn so that didn't work out um i ended up having to i put the matte coat on top realized that the matte was making the white run a little bit and yeah that was disappointing so i had to go back outline my white outline again and then put matte on again in hindsight how could i avoid this from happening was well i could have outlined the clear well the um outline the white with some top coat clear polish to avoid it from running at all and that like to keep it from running so um yeah in hindsight also i don't really use i've had the velveteen like that's the name of it the velveteen matte from alexa polish for almost a year i've only used it about maybe five times um my job like i was working with clothes i worked at zara um my job like the clothing material would get on the nail even though the nail does not um well it's not supposed to um fade and get dirty and stuff like that it still does but that's just because of my line of work an average person probably would not experience as much like build up of dirt that i was experiencing i've had matte nails before and i will say that this um, top coat is better than the other brand that I used before well I got done at a nail salon before because it, it really like stays clean longer so um yeah now that I'm not working there anymore I can definitely like um just really wall out with matte so this is why this is my second matte design with um with my nails um the pink one that I had on in the beginning of this video was the first one so uh yeah I freaking love it i love being able to explore with my stuff now but um i will say that i'm also learning how to work with the product because it's different than the other items that i have okay guys so this is how it came out it's gorgeous compare contrast for me don't lie to me in the comments saying that it's close to it and it's really not like the design was really fire i would definitely do it again probably with a different color scheme but this is how it came out you know i added some rings on for you guys you see you see so yeah um stay tuned for my next videos um, next time we're doing this galactic set so definitely subscribe if you haven't and I'll catch you guys next time